okay? In this lesson, we're going to cover how to find the slope from two points. So we're going to find out how to find the slope without using a graph with two points. Normally, if you have a graph, right, it's delta y, how many up or how many down, delta x, how many left or how many right, but we don't always have a graph. Right, so we're going to find out how to find the slope with just two points. So delta y over delta x. Right, so find the slope of the line through each pair of points. So remember that the x's are in green, so we have two points here, and the y's are in purple. So delta in means subtraction. So we subtract. So first we're gonna subtract y minus y. So my first y is 13, my second y is negative 13. So I say 13 minus negative 13. Now remember, a minus minus next to each other, they crash and become positive. So 13 plus 13 is 26. Okay, so we did the y's. Delta y is on top. Delta x is on the bottom. Delta x means x minus x. So my first test, x is negative 14. My second x is negative 8. So I say negative 14 minus, right? Because it says delta minus negative 8. So minus minus, remember they crash into each other and become a plus. So these two are different signs, one negative, one positive. So I subtract 14 minus 8 is 6. But since 14 is the bigger integer and it's a negative, then the 6 will be negative as well. So my delta y was 26. My delta x was negative 6. Right? Now, a positive divided by a negative is a negative, so I'm going to put it in the front here, right? But if I notice both of these numbers, I could divide them by 2. They're both even numbers, so I divide them by 2. So I get 26 divided by 2 is 13, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So here is my slope between negative 14 and 13, negative 8 and negative 13 is negative 13 over 3. So if we had a graph, we would go down 13 and to the right 3. Now these notes will be in Schoology as an attachment of your assignment. Okay, now let's try some examples here on of uh, delta, some, some delta math examples. So it says, what is the slope of the line that passes through negative 6, negative 8, and negative 14, 4? Write your answer in the simplest form, and that means reduce the fraction like we did in the example in, in the notes. So we're going to reduce the fraction. So let's remind ourselves that m is the slope is delta y over delta x, right? So y on top, x on the bottom. So let's remind ourselves of the x's are in green and the y's are in purple. Again, you can use any colors you want, but the colors help you out, help you distinguish what's what. So delta y first. So let's do delta y first, which is equal to y minus y, so purple minus purple. So we say negative 8 minus 4. So those two are the same sign, so we add them. 8 and 4 is 12. So 8 and 4 is 12. Well, what kind of 12? Well, 8 is the bigger integer, 8 is a negative, so we get negative 12. Right? So now we're going to do delta x on the bottom. So x minus x. So negative 6 minus negative 14. 
negative 6 minus negative 14. Negative 6 minus negative 14. Remember, a minus minus cross into each other and become a plus. Now, these two are different signs, so we subtract 14 minus 6 is 8. 14 is the bigger energy and it's a positive, so the answer is positive. Right? So, our slope is going to be negative 12 over 8. Now, I notice I can reduce these two by dividing by 4. And that gives me negative 12 divided by 4 is 3. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So the slope between these two points here, if, I, if, it was, if uh, we had a graph to get from one point to another, you would go down 3 and over 2. Or up 3 and left 2, right? Depends on which point you were going from. From one point to the other. Okay, second example, same thing. What is the slope of the line that passes through the points negative 10 and comma 8 and negative 15 comma negative 7? So let me start off by doing this. And again, write your answer in simplest form. Reduced fraction. So let's remind ourselves that M is equal to delta Y over delta X. All right. So delta Y is equal to, this time I'm going to write it out, Y minus Y, just to remind myself. So Y minus Y, purple minus purple. So I say 8 minus negative 7. Minus minus becomes plus. 8 plus 7 is 15. So I do my line. So I did delta y. Now I'm going to do delta x. Well, delta x is equal to x minus x, which is equal to, what are my two x's? Negative 10 and negative 15. Negative 10 minus, right? It says minus negative 15. So again, I have negative, negative. They crash into each other, make a plus, And that gives me one negative, one positive. So I subtract 15 minus five, 10 is 5. And 15 is positive, And it's a bigger integer. So the answer is positive. So our M... Our slope is equal to 15 over 5. Well, it works out that 15 divided by 5 is 3. So, the slope of these two is 3. So, you would go up 3 and over 1, right? You make it as a fraction, right? It's 3 over 1. You would go up 3 and over one.